Hermann Heine Goldstein September 13, 1913, to June 16, 2004, was a mathematician and computer scientist, who was one of the original developers of ENIAC, the first of the modern electronic digital computers. Personal life Hermann Heine Goldstein was born in Chicago in 1913 to Jewish parents. He attended the University of Chicago, where he joined the Phi Beta Kappa fraternity, and graduated with a degree in mathematics in 1933, a master's degree in 1934, and a Ph.D. in 1936. For three years he was a research assistant under Gilbert Ames Bliss, an authority on the mathematical theory of external ballistics. In 1939 Goldstein began a teaching career at the University of Michigan, until the United States entry into World War II, when he joined the U.S. Army. In 1941 he married Adele Katz, who was an ENIAC programmer and who wrote the technical description for ENIAC. He had a daughter and a son with Adele, who died in 1964. Two years later he married secondly Ellen Watson. In retirement Goldstein became executive director of the American Philosophical Society in Philadelphia between 1985 and 1997, in which capacity he was able to attract many prestigious visitors and speakers. Goldstein died on June 16, 2004, at his home in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, after a long struggle with Parkinson's disease. His death was announced by the Thomas J. Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights, New York, where a postdoctoral fellowship was renamed in his honor. BRL and the Moore School As a result of the United States entering World War II, Goldstein left the University of Michigan where he was a professor in July, 1942 to enlist in the Army. He was commissioned a lieutenant and worked as an ordnance mathematician calculating firing tables at the Ballistic Research Laboratory BRL at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. The firing tables were used in battle to find the appropriate elevation and azimuth for aiming artillery, which had a range of several miles. The firing table calculations were accomplished by about 100 women operating mechanical desk calculators. Each combination of gun, round and geographical region required a unique set of firing tables. It took about 750 calculations to compute a single trajectory and each table had about 3,000 trajectories. It took human computer at least 7 hours to calculate one trajectory. To increase production, BRL enlisted the computing facilities of the Moore School of Electrical Engineering at the University of Pennsylvania and Goldstein was the liaison between BRL and the university. Topic. The ENIAC While making some adjustments to the Moore School's mechanical differential analyzer, engineer Joseph Chaplin suggested Goldstein visit John Mouchley, a physics instructor at the Moore School, who had distributed a memorandum proposing that the calculations could be done thousands of times faster with an electronic computer using vacuum tubes. Mouchley wrote a proposal and in June 1943 he and Goldstein secured funding from the Army for the project. The ENIAC was built in 30 months with 200,000 man-hours. The ENIAC was huge, measuring 30 by 60 feet and weighing 30 tons with 18,000 vacuum tubes. The device could only store 20 numbers and took days to program. It was completed in late 1945 as World War II was coming to an end. The EDVAC In spite of disappointment that ENIAC had not contributed to the war effort, interest remained strong in the Army to develop an electronic computer. Prior even to the ENIAC's completion, the Army procured a second contract from the Moore School to build a successor machine known as the EDVAC. Goldstein, Mouchley, J. Presper Eckert and Arthur Burks began to study the development of the new machine in the hopes of correcting the deficiencies of the ENIAC. Topic. Meeting John von Neumann In the summer of 1944 Goldstein had a chance encounter with the prominent mathematician John von Neumann on a railway platform in Aberdeen, Maryland, and Goldstein described his project at the University of Pennsylvania. Unknown to Goldstein, von Neumann was then working on the Manhattan Project, which was aiming to build the first atomic bomb. The calculations needed for this project were also daunting. 
Topic: The first draft. As a result of his conversations with Goldstein, von Neumann joined the study group and wrote a memo called First Draft of a Report on the EDVAC. Von Neumann intended this to be a memo to the study group, but Goldstein typed it up into a 101-page document that named von Neumann as the sole author. On June 25, 1946, Goldstein forwarded 24 copies of the document to those intimately involved in the EDVAC project. Dozens or perhaps hundreds of mimeographs of the report were forwarded to von Neumann's colleagues at universities in the United States and in Great Britain in the weeks that followed. While incomplete, the paper was very well received and became a blueprint for building electronic digital computers. Due to von Neumann's prominence as a major American mathematician, the EDVAC architecture became known as the von Neumann architecture. One of the key ideas in the first draft was that the programmer could store a program in the computer's electronic memory, rather than program the computer using mechanical switches and patch cables. This and other ideas in the paper had been discussed in the EDVAC study group before von Neumann joined the group. The fact that Eckert and Mauchly, the actual inventors and designers of the ENIAC, were not named as co-authors created resentment that led to the group's dissolution at the end of the war. Eckert and Mauchly went on to form the eckert mauchley Computer Corporation, a company that in part survives today as the Unisys Corporation, while von Neumann, Goldstein and Burks moved on into academic life at the Institute for Advanced Study. In summer 1946, all of them were reunited to give presentations at the first computer course, which has come to be known as the Moore School Lectures. Goldstein's presentations, given without notes, covered deeply and rigorously numerical mathematical methods useful in programs for digital computers. Topic: <laughs> Institute for Advanced Study. After World War II Goldstein joined von Neumann and Burks at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton, where they built a computer referred to as the IAS machine. Goldstein was appointed as assistant director of the project and was later its director, after 1954. The IAS machine influenced the design of IBM's early computers through von Neumann, who was a consultant to IBM. When von Neumann died in 1958, the IAS computer project was terminated. Goldstein went on to become the founding director of the Mathematical Sciences Department at IBM's Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights, New York. IBM At IBM one of Goldstein's most significant roles was in fostering relations between IBM researchers and the academic community. In 1969 he was appointed an IBM Fellow, the company's most prestigious technical honor, and a consultant to the Director of Research. As a Fellow Goldstein developed an interest in the history of computing and mathematical sciences. He wrote three books on the topic, The Computer from Pascal to von Neumann, History of Numerical Analysis from the 16th through the 19th century and History of the Calculus of Variations from the 17th through the 19th century. As the title implies, in The Computer from Pascal to von Neumann, Goldstein leaves little doubt that in his opinion von Neumann played a critical role in developing modern theories of computing. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honoraria Harry H. Good Memorial Award in 1979 National Medal of Science 1985. Hall of Fame of the Army Ordnance Department 1997. Benjamin Franklin Medal for Distinguished Achievement in the Sciences of the American Philosophical Society 1997. IEEE Computer Society Pioneer Award Charter Recipient. Member of the National Academy of Science Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences Member of the American Philosophical Society Topic. Publications Arthur W. Arthur Walter Burks, Hermann Heine Goldstein, John von Neumann, Preliminary Discussion of the Logical Design of an Electronic Computer Instrument, Institute for Advanced Study, January 1, 1946 ASIN B0007 HW8WE Goldstein, Hermann H. Goldstein, A. 1982 1946 the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer ENIAC. 
The Origins of Digital Computers, Selected Papers. New York, Springer Verlag. pp. 359–373. ISBN 3-540-11319-3. Goldstein, Hermann H. The, 1st of October 1980. the Computer from Pascal to von Neumann. Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-02367-0. Archived from the original on 13 August 2004. Goldstein, Hermann H. 1973. New and Full Moons, 1001 BC to AD 1651. Philadelphia, American Philosophical Society. ISBN 0-87169-094-2. Goldstein, Hermann H. 1977. History of Numerical Analysis from the 16th through the 19th Century Studies in the History of Mathematics and Physical Sciences, 2. New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN 0-387-90277-5. Goldstein, Hermann H. October 1980. History of the Calculus of Variations from the 17th through the 19th Century Studies in the History of Mathematics and the Physical Sciences. New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN 0-387-90521-9. Bernoulli, Jakob, Bernoulli, Jean, Goldstein, Hermann H., Radelet de Grave, p. September 1991. Die Streitschriften von Jacob und Johann Bernoulli, Variationsurchnung. Basel, Boston, Berkhauser. ISBN 3-7643-2348-5. ISBN 0-8176-2348-5 References External links Hermann Goldstein, who helped build first computers, dies at 90 Wolfgang Saxon, New York Times, 26 June 2004 Oral History Interview with Hermann H. Goldstein Charles Babbage Institute, University of Minnesota. Goldstein discusses his experiences with the ENIAC computer during World War II. He mentions the EDVAC, the ENIAC's successor, and its innovation of stored programming, for which he credits John von Neumann. An interview with Goldstein about his experience at Princeton Hermann Goldstein Obituary Biographical Memoir for American Philosophical Society Kempf, Carl. 1961. Chapter 2, ENIAC. Electronic Computers Within the Ordnance Corps. Aberdeen Proving Ground, M.D. Archived from the original on 3 August 2004. IBM Research Names Mathematics Fellowship for Computer Pioneer Herman Goldstein O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Herman Goldstein. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Herman Goldstein at the Mathematics Genealogy Project DeAngelis, Gina, Bianco, David J. 2005. Computers, Processing the Data. Minneapolis, Oliver Press. ISBN 1-881508-87-0.